We said that electrons and atoms are found in atomic orbitals, and we can use the Schrodinger equation to calculate the shape of the atomic orbitals. But what about molecules? Similar to atomic orbitals, electrons in molecules are found in the molecular orbitals, and we can use the Schrodinger equation as well to calculate the energies and the shape of the molecular orbitals. There are rules used in applying molecular orbital theory to the formation of the covalent bonds. The first rule states that the molecular orbitals are equal to the number of the combined atomic orbitals. In here you can see that the two px atomic orbitals are subtracted and combined. The adding of the two px atomic orbitals results in the spread of the px molecular orbitals over the two atoms, and subtracting the two atomic orbitals results in the two antibonding molecular orbitals. Notice in bonding, the two px molecular orbitals are spread over all atoms, and they are aligned to overlap properly with one another. Like you see, the number of the molecular orbitals equals to the number of the atomic orbitals. We started with two atomic orbitals, and the result is two molecular orbitals. Similar to atomic orbitals rearrangement, the molecular orbitals are arranged in order of increasing energy. Here you can see the combination of the atomic orbitals, 1s orbitals, 2s orbitals, and 2p orbitals, result in the formation of new combined molecular orbitals with energy increasing from down to top. The sigma 1s, sigma star 1s, sigma 2s, sigma star 2s, 2 pi molecular orbitals, then sigma 2p bonding, followed by the higher in energy, the 2 pi 2p star and sigma star 2p. Similar to atomic orbitals, the lowest molecular orbitals are filled first with a maximum of two electrons. Also molecular orbitals with the same energies are singly filled first, and when paired, their spin must be paired as well. Let's look at the formation of the molecular orbitals due to the combination of two 1s orbitals. The first case, the combination by addition, in phase addition. That results in the formation of the sigma 1s bonding two molecular orbitals. Notice the energy of electrons in sigma 1s is lower than electrons' energy in their atomic orbitals. That is why atomic orbitals prefer to be combined to be lower in energy. Also, you can see that the combined orbital's electron densities lie between the two nuclei, forming a cylindrical symmetrical region along the axis. Now, let's see the combination by subtracting out of phase. Subtracting orbitals results in two sigma star 1s molecular orbitals, also called sigma asterisk. Electrons in these molecular antibonding orbitals are in the excited state and have higher energy than the bonding and uncombined states. Let's see this example of molecular orbitals of hydrogen molecules. The combination of the atomic orbitals of the two hydrogen atoms, each atom has one electron and one s orbital. Like we said, the combination of the atomic orbitals results in the formation of the two molecular orbitals in phase sigma 1s and out of phase sigma star 1s. In the ground state, the two electrons occupy the sigma 1s molecular orbital, where in the lowest excited state, one electron remains in the sigma 1 star molecular orbital, and the other electron moves to the higher in energy sigma star 1s, with no net bonding, which results in dissociation.